Welcome to this technical video of setting up um, your text editor output of choice, Notepad 2. Um, so this is just how it comes stock, standard, and I did prepare a file um, so that we need a little bit of syntax and uh, see what's going on. I'll have to get a proper tutorial. I just made a quick hybrid of W3Schools approach and um, my own just random edits um yep so here it is here with its all its default settings so let's just have a tinker around and see see what we can do in here you can launch things in the new window if you like you can change the line endings that's nice you can change the properties so it opens the files properties that's quite nice too Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. Let's have a look at Control K. Oh, what does that do? See, if I select two lines, it'll swap them. Oh, how does that work? Control K. Swap. Huh. I'm not quite sure I understand how that works. Anyway, what else we got here? We got, um, oh, clear clipboard. That's, that's all right, I guess. Select lines. Oh, there you go. Move lines up, cut lines, copy line, delete lines. So, you know, move this line up. You want to control shift up, move it up, control shift down. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, duplicate lines, control D. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, indent and unindenting. So, you know, we're in, we're in indent this block of things. Just tab that, and then a shift tab to undo it. Yeah, seems reasonable enough to me. What else have we got in here? Enclose selection. What does that mean? Enclose selection. Alt Q. Insert before selection, insert after selection. Maybe this is if we want to enclose it in tags of some kind. Like if we want to enclose this in a um, um, tutorial tag. Ah, well, there you go. Interesting. So we got that. That's enclose the selection. Um, duplicate selection, so it's an Alt D. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty cool. I like that. I like playing around with stuff. Pads with spaces. What does that mean? Alt B. Oh, that's oh, that's uh, that's kind of handy there. Nice to play around with these settings because you know sometimes you select things and then yeah. You know, oh, I want to select the whole line. Or you can just Alt B that. That's cool. What is this? Well, I think it's Alt. Oh, there you go. If you hold Alt, you can do a um, square selection instead of a full selection like that. So it's like maybe I want to select that for whatever reason. I want to select that. I'm actually pretty accurate with my cursor, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, strip first character Alt Z. Strip first character. Oh, that's going to open up my Steam overlay. That's uh, the thing overlay. That's no good. Can't use that one then. Use something for the time being. Alt U strip last character. Maybe it's uh, flip selection. Okay, it doesn't appear to be doing a whole lot. Although maybe it's for block selections for Alt U. No? Okay. Um, what else have we got in here? We've got strip trailing spaces. Didn't appear to do anything. Compress white space. Oh, yeah. We've got merge blank lines, remove blank lines. 
Alt Y, Alt R. Interesting. Okay. Modify lines, Alt M. Prefix text to lines, append text to lines. What does this do? Ooh, looks like you can do some fancy stuff in here. Continuous number. Let's just let's just put stuff in. T three. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. All kinds of fancy, fancy thing. Align lines. What does that mean? Align lines. That's cool. Align them center. Oh, yeah. Well, they, yeah, there you go. We need to sort lines. Sort in. All right. Well, that's, ooh, that's kind of edgy. Merge duplicate lines, remove duplicate lines, remove unique lines. Ooh. You know, you can do some nice stuff. You've got some lists of things. I think I was playing around with some Minecraft um, lists just before. And um, you could do some good stuff with that. How did, where did I save that list? Anyway, I saved it in ah this one here. Uh, yes. yes, it was this one here. I was playing around with uh, Minecraft, adding those skins in. So let's just go blocks. Sort lines, merge duplicate lines. So we've got 44 at the moment. Let's see how we go. All right. I at least had one duplicate in there. That's good to know, actually. I like that. Yes. Oh, wait, where was it? Sorry. Sort lines, yeah. Oh, remove duplicate lines. There we go. That's, yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. I like that. Go back to our other document here. Oh, I've got it as part of my. Um, let's just open a new window. Okay, go back to our back to our code in here. So we can do insert. We can insert HTML or any kind of tag you want. You change that tag if you want it to be yeah P1 P2. Whatever you want it to be, you can insert HTML, XML tags there. Um, wait, where did I get that from? Oh, insert, sorry. Time, date. Control F5 gets the current date time. That's nice. Use that for long. No, eh? There we go. Um, what else we got here? Insert file name. Oh, yeah. I can imagine you could get up all kinds of crazy macros and stuff here. Line comment is Control Q stream comment. Control Shift Q. That's cool. Control Shift Q. That's good. Um. Control Q on that one. Although I'm not sure it's detected. It says web source code. Let's set it to be. Um, hmm. It should be HTML, but. Okay. Well, now I'll just leave it as that one. It might not be interpreting my comments particularly well. Select a matching brace. Fine. Save fine text. Okay, that's cool. So pretty standard stuff there. You can fuse the syntax scheme, that's what I went to before. So you can change different code that it's looking at. Um, second default theme, what's that? Customize schemes. So you customize this stuff. Um, the associated file extensions. Ah, oh, and you can change the colors for the different ones in here, CSS. XML, all that other stuff. Um, customize it however you want. Um, there's a way to change the background here. I'll worry about that later. But let's keep looking through to see what we got. Word wrapper. Ooh. Word wrapper, eh? Oh, what have I done? Oh. Okay. 
I'm not sure what that does, but there's some interesting stuff. We got cuss. Oh, that's that. Okay, that was fun. Long line marker. What is that supposed to sell me? Indentation guides? Ah, there you go. This is the kind of stuff that I want. Yes, I like to be able to see how much that stuff is indented. That's good stuff. I like that. Show white space. Yes. There. Yeah, look at this nonsense. Using are those spaces or? Oh dear. It's picking up on the spaces. Oh, it's treating the spaces as tabs. I think. That's odd. Show line endings, we don't want to do that. Let's just show right space, got rid of that nonsense. Um, highlight current tab, yes, that's we go, that's the kind of tools that we start wanting to use. Um, this just makes things a little bit nicer to see what we've got selected. Selection margin, yep, that's good stuff. Um, let's have a look at these settings. Insert tabs as spaces. What? No, don't do that. Oh. No, okay, uh, that's why that one was looking horrible before, because it was inserting the tabs as the spaces, but now tabs are tabs, which is good stuff. I do believe there is a convert to, um, where is it? Convert spaces to tabs. Convert. Um, there is a setting in here, I believe. I know it's in here somewhere to convert tabs to spaces. Tabify selection. Did that do it? Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Ooh, I like that. All right, that's good stuff. That's that's a pretty wild ride. Okay. Let's not do that. Hmm. Oh, transparency mode. Ooh, a little bit too transparent for my liking. File change notification. We can get things to tell it if you uh, change file extension. That's cool. Customize toolbar. Yep. What else have we got? Tab settings. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, I already did that. Oh, I already took that one off. Anything else we have always on top? Sure that's talking about. Word wrap settings. That's just that stuff. Long line, limit for long line, 72. Change background color. Okay. So maybe, yeah, all right, that's all right. No, it's maybe you don't want lines to go over a certain length um, just for, for formatting's sake or sanity. So you do that sort of thing, and then you can change, um, you know, I want that to be 100. Yeah, okay. So just, oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, just makes it a little bit nicer to, ooh. Turn that off now. Where did that go? I want to turn that off. There we go. Long line marker. All right, that's cool. Um, that's just about all the settings I can think of at the moment. But you know, you've got your basic, um, your basic. Um, I've done something with these. Um, tabs, I'll have to figure out how to fix it. But you get your basic syntax, which is what you want. Um, you know, you click on things and it'll show up and it selects them now. Um, but yeah, it's basically Notepad 2 set up. Don't think there's any other hidden tips and tricks. Um, look through most of these settings here. I do believe there was a I can't for the life of me find it now. Convert tabs to spaces, and I swear it was a setting in here. 
let's just go strip trailing blanks. Um, that's what it's done. No. And then I believe it's going to be a little bit kinder to us on the, uh, the white space side. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit nicer. Um, why are those ones? Oh, those are just new lines. Oh, I see. I'm just trying to show you how the indent works there. The arrow is a little bit too obnoxious, but it does show you what's going on. You can customize it however which way you like it. Um, so yeah, that just basically, with, with that in mind, I don't think there's anything too much else that I want to cover in this tutorial, which is the end of the Notepad 2 setup settings and just playing around with it generally. Yeah, thanks for watching. Over and out.